Hi everyone, it's Ami Diamond from SharePoint Wizard. In this episode, I'd like to show you a new feature that is rolling out in August, and it's actually uh, new templates for news posts. So uh, the idea is actually that uh, the news post that we sent will be uh, fit for mobile and for emails, and it will be not just uh, guessing. So let's uh, go in and see how we do it. We'll click the new button, by the way, it's it's available for communication and team sites as well. Click the new post, news post. Now, we're familiar with these three standard templates. As you can see, a blank and some additional ones, but we have here uh, six new templates that are made for email. Templates are sharing news that look good and great on a device. Fewer web parts available. So let's go in the blank. We can see a preview just empty. The newsletter look will look like this. So we see some images and text. Of course, we can adjust all of them. The event looks like this. So we have some description, some links address and an image. The next one is the status update. Uh, as you can see, we, it can be adjusted. And uh, if I'm not mistaken, we can take uh, an existing one and save it as a new template. We'll test that soon. Process is uh, what we see here. And topic. So for the example, let's just take the newsletter because it's very common. We'll create the post and we will see how it looks. So first of all, we need to give a name. Let's call it Demo Ami. And uh, what we see here is actually, uh, we see it how it looks in the full screen. If we go uh, and uh, try to add web parts, we see that we have limited amount. But according to Microsoft, 80% of uh, the newsletters uses these uh, web parts, uh, a button, divider, file and media, image, link, people, quick link, space, and text. So assuming uh, I like this and I can change it and we can add something just for the example, we have uh, now a preview button that we can see how it looks. Wondering if it in, in future we could put our own logo and if we can move uh, this thing. But this is the preview. Uh, if we want, we can see the page details to see a thumbnail. For some reason, I, I don't see a thumbnail, so I can add one. You see, there's also a function to use a spell checker and grammar. So for this example, I want to add some thumbnail just so it's not empty. Uh, let's add this. I don't know if it's relevant, but at least we will have something. So as you can see now, we can click the. We can, of course, share and send the link or send by email, but we can post and send now. So we get a message, your news was posted. That means we will see it under the news web part. Now we can add uh, add people we want to send it. Let's add it to say Alex. And I can also send it to, I think, uh, a 365 group. Let's say I look for SharePoint wizard. And if I look for AD something, I might I have I see a AD one group, so I could put people on CC. So I could add Ligu, and I could uh, put here some uh, description, some title description. This is a test. And uh, all we need to do, now we have two possibilities. Notice that, that we can send it as a link. This is how it would look as a link. Or we can send it like this. And this is actually the new feature. Something is stuck. 
I scroll down and let's send. We get a message image was sent, email was sent. Now uh, we can go to uh, email and uh, let's refresh. So I'm I'm checking the ma the mail for this uh, SharePoint Wizard uh, group. Um, let's see if I get it. Let's refresh. Here we go. Okay, here we got it. So now we can see actually that the the name was demo uh, army, and we see the latest news, and this is exactly what we were expecting. Um, and you can see who who are the people that uh, it was sent, and um, yeah, and it should work and look much better uh, in the mobile. And of course, in in the, the the outlook now. So let's check now what happens. Uh, we'll go to the uh, home page of of the site, and we should see that actually you see we have demo one, demo newspaper newsletter and we see a uh, SharePoint day at uh, this one for some reason uh, the thumbnail was not maintained but if we go into it um, let's go into one of these so we will see this now uh, I wanted to check and see if it's possible to save one of these sent ones as templates Okay, that's something that I need to see. I can copy this, but uh, if I find out, uh, I will let you know. Uh, let's create a new one. What we can do is actually, I want to test it on the team site. So I'm on a team site, I'll do new post, and I will choose this topic one. By the way, you see, I can click here and set one of them as the default selection. Instead of one of these, then I can set one of those. So I'll choose this one and I will, I have it. I can uh, send it. Of course, I need to give a name, but I think you understand the idea. So this is a first overview. I'm with you overviewing it and uh, help uh, if I have any updates I will let you know so see you for the meantime if you like my channel subscribe and see you in the next episode goodbye